here from uh, Channel 6, but say on behalf of uh, the radio station, I think this is the first time I've ever said this in public, that uh, all of us were truly grateful for the official Loop corporate Christmas gift. And this is not available in stores, and you cannot order it from Loopware. It's the official. So now when somebody comes up to you in a bar and says that they're Steve Dahl or Johnny B, and they want to pick you up, and they say that they're from the Loop, if they're not wearing an official Loop watch, they're not for real. Have them arrested. <laughs> I just had to do that because everybody jokes about these. Yeah, well, going to believe what you're going to hear. If you saw this on television tonight, then you're, you are already shocked. So if you think this is shock radio, uh, here's why they call it that. Get up! And then as they tried to awaken Lawson, there was bragging about D.C. street violence. Get the f*** up! He's knocked the f*** out! No, this is straight up D.C. hustling! This is straight-up D.C. hustling, he said. The prosecutors say the defendants recorded these attacks to show their friends in New York how tough they are. Two years ago, on the streets of the nation's capital, not unlike our west side, not unlike our south side, not unlike the South Bronx in New York, not unlike L.A., not unlike Dallas, Houston, and Miami, wanton, reckless, raw, Uns well, partially censored. I think you caught the operative word that was taken out of that thing you just heard there. Right? I know it's called a soundbite, but it's a thing. It sounds like a like a, a demon conjured this up. Only censored for language, but if you are are able to comprehend the raw, savage violence, the celebration of violence. We're being visited tonight by some folks from a television station, and they saw this with me this afternoon on TV for the first time. And Paul said to me, did you see the punch? Well, I didn't see the roundhouse punch on this videotape the first time around. I saw it the second, third, 14th, and 15th time that I watched this since this afternoon until this evening, until right now. And even right now, as I remember what this brutality looked like today, I can't really understand it. I mean, I, I know what the facts are, but I'm not really sure what this means about the streets, ironically, of the nation's capital, but certainly an, a, a problem in every major American city. Whew, I mean, I just gotta take a deep breath after having played this tape for you. And east, huh? that'd be a good trick if we could do it. This is the East Coast. This is New England listening tonight. This is Virginia and West Virginia listening tonight. North Carolina and South Carolina listening tonight. Arkansas, Louisiana, Delaware, Jersey, New York. We're all in this bag. City Council in Chicago has a pretty good idea. Ban guns now. City of Chicago's got a pretty good idea. Build prison space now. City of Chicago's got a pretty good idea. Improve the damn school system now. Don't waste your money on the Glenwood, madam. That's, that's what we're doing, man. We're sending undercover guys to, to fat women and, and, and giving them $450 of government money to play a charade for television. And this kind of stuff is going on right now. This is two years ago. Think about anything that has, uh, that grows and progresses and think about it two years ago. Like, like your child. Think about your child. Your child was five years old two years ago, huh? Your child is seven now. Your child has grown. These thugs 
these originators of yet new American traditions. These guys are two years better, two years stronger, two years better armed, two years more callous, more indifferent to human life. Did you hear the man congratulate the man who knocked the victim unconscious with one punch? Excuse me. It's one of the things about being on delay. Whenever I do anything really horrible, I can just hit the button and you don't have to hear it. And I did something really horrible right there. Only these guys with the video camera, they, they got it on tape. So help me figure this out, man. Help me figure out why we're, we're worried about whether McDonald's has a big enough chair for some guy's ass. Did you see this on the news tonight? We're spending taxpayers' money measuring this man's butt and measuring a McDonald's chair and brutal, wanton, reckless vi violence that's gonna get us. It's gonna get us. We're gonna be riding in a cab some night like I was tonight, be stopped on Michigan Avenue because of a traffic snarl, and one of these guys is gonna open the door of the cab and just do us in. There are no boundaries to this. And they are so truly into it, they're videotaping it and, and mocking it and enjoying the brutality to the victim and God knows if this man was going to survive. They shot him, according to NBC News. They shot him after all that. But there's a guy at McDonald's suing so his butt can get in the chair. And the Glenwood madam is the subject of a highly sophisticated law enforcement sting operation. The man said on the news tonight, not one worker in the first ward, streets and set, not one is working a full day. They are holding down other jobs, obtaining other income in addition to their full-time pay from the city. And they couldn't find one guy or gal who wasn't doing it. I want to say spare me but I have to say, scare me.